Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to solve the practice problem Java loop set 1. So first, let us understand the question and then we would solve it. So let's start. Basically, in this question, we would be given a value n. For example, it is 10. Now, 10 is the limit, okay? So basically, I need to check till 10 how many numbers are even and how many numbers are odd. So basically, I need to print the sum of even numbers till n and print of odd numbers till n. So basically, for even numbers, I can check which of the values are divisible by 2 and the remainder are 0. And the remaining values which are not divisible by 2 and you know we are not getting the remainder value as 0. For those value they can be considered odd. Okay. So this is for even and this is for odd and we have a limit that is set by n. So n you know we can apply a for loop and within that for loop we can check which values are even and we can add them and then we can check the remaining values which are odd and then we can add it and finally get the result. So I hope the question is clear to you. Now let's solve it. So for solving it you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal in the filter section you need to scroll down. Okay. After scrolling down in the difficulty section you need to choose school. Okay. After choosing school you need to find the problem Java loop set 1. Okay. Once you find it you need to click on solve. Okay. So here is the question. Let's read it. For a given n prints the sum of even and odd integers of the first n natural numbers. Okay. So let's start with the question and we would be coding it over here. Okay. So let's solve it. One minute. Let me enter. Okay. Let's take an integer value even which is 0. Initially I do not have any sum for even values and odd should also be 0. Okay. Now the next is I am starting a array list. Okay. Array list. Now, the array list is integer, right? It is integer, bracket close. Now, array name is array equal to new, okay? It is a new array list, right? So, new array list and it is created like this, okay? After this, I need to apply a for loop, right? For circular bracket, one minute, let me remove the space. For int i equal to 1, we are starting from 1. My ending value is n, right? I need to stop at n and then I need to keep on increasing i, right? Curly brackets, enter. Now, I need to check if the value is divisible by 2 or not, right? Modulus, modulus 2. If it is giving 0, then I need to add it in even, right? So, it would be added in even, okay? Now, after this, the next one is else, okay? In else, what do I need to do? I need to check for the remaining odd values, right? So, in else, you can just write odd, then what? Then plus equal to i, okay? One minute over here also, it should be i, okay? Semicolon, do not forget the semicolons, okay? After this, I just need to return with the values, right? So, let me come over here, one minute, enter. And I can just write array dot add even, okay, add even, semicolon enter, then array dot add what odd, okay, you can add the odd values. And finally, you can just return with the array, okay. Now, we need to check if it is correct or not. So, I would click on compile and run. Let's wait. It is getting compiled. Okay, there is an error. Let's check what is the error. Just one minute. The error is over here. I didn't add the semicolon. One minute. Okay. So now let's check if it is correct or not. Let's wait. Let's wait. The compilation is done. And my output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit my problem. Let's wait. Okay. Let's see. So the problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem Java loop set 1. I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining me today. Thank you.